Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Dee. I am a Saint Beauty artist, a savvy brand partner, which is a athleisure brand. And I also am a DIY lash enthusiast. So I have been doing my own lashes for about a year, year and a half. I started out with a Falscara and then went over to Lashify and then have tried other brands. A lot uh, that I do on my channel is trying out different brands, trying out different styles. So definitely if you're just getting in the DIY lash world or you're looking to like think outside the box or you wanna see different styles on different eye shapes or like see them in motion, definitely check out my channel because I have a lot of lash videos that I've done. So I've done some tips and tricks, all that stuff. So today's video is going to be a Falsacara and a Lashify wear test. So I'm gonna do one eye in Falsacara, one eye in Lashify, and then I'm going to come back when one of them starts falling off and let you know what the wear time is. Now, what I decided to do in this video is I am going to be using not only the glue in each of them, so I will have the glue on each side. I also am going to be using um, the Overnighter in Falscara and the Night Bond in Lashify. And I have the bond for both, both of them, so I will be using the bond with each eye. So that way it's kind of the whole shebang every single thing and see which one, you know, do you really need to pay more if you can get the same kind of longevity with something that is drug sore and much more affordable. So that's kind of the purpose of today's video. Before we get into it, just wanna say a couple things. I'm wearing this in my hair because my hair is so greasy and I'm gonna be wearing a hat today and there's no way that I can wear a hat and do this video without like it being awkward. So that is that. Um, the second thing is, yes, that is a black eye right there. I had PRF done, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically they take your blood, they spin it, they get all the good stuff, and then they inject it in your eyes. It is supposed to, not in your eyes, but around your eyes. It's supposed to help stimulate collagen, help with uh, wrinkles, help with dark eye circles, all the things. It's a really cool procedure, so I am now coming off of it. So yes, that is a black eye. Everything's fine. I actually paid somebody to do it to me, so good for me. But the other thing that I want to say is just, I want to quickly go through the products that I'm going to be using so that you know. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Lashify Pre-Cleanse. I'm going to do it on both of the lashes because I don't have one for the Falscara. Um, this is the pre-cleanse that I use for every single set of my lashes and I think it works just fine. I don't know how it compares to other brands because I've never used other brands because I've literally had this the whole time and I'm the type of person might as well use what's in my collection and got unlimited amount of money. So that is that. The lashes that I'm gonna go in um, with are the Lynx lashes. These are in the style N2. They are super, super pretty. This is the lash brand that I've been loving. Um, if you follow my channel, I've done several of style videos with these because they are just awesome. They're super affordable. I do have some Falscara ones, but I'll be honest with you, the Falscara ones aren't as good quality as like the Lilac Street and the Lynx Street. But I've been loving the Lynx lashes. I'm gonna go in with that. Um, and then just the other thing, I'm gonna be doing, using the Lilac Street Wand, this is my favorite. I'm also gonna be using the Lashify Blow Tool. And then like I said, I'm gonna be using the Glue and Bond by Falscara, the Overnighter by Falscara, and then for Lashify, I'm gonna be using their Bondage with Charcoal, no wait, Charcoal Flex, and then the All Nighter, so. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep. I have to cut these lashes down and then I will speed up this because I've done so many videos where I've kind of talked through, but I will come back, let you guys see the final result and then kind of do check-ins throughout the week to let you know how they are holding up. And then obviously at the end, I will come back and let you know which bond broke quicker and we'll see whether or not it's worth paying Lashify prices or if you can buy something much more affordable and much easier to get or quicker to get. You can just go to Ulta or Walmart or Target and just pick it up the drug, you know, pick it up the store if that's a better route. So let's go ahead and get into it.
that is it. So I, quick and easy, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video and then stay tuned for a quick update, maybe midweek, and then the update as far as how long each one of them got. Stay tuned. So it is literally, hasn't even been 24 hours, and the Lashify one, the little cluster fell off of this eye, which is really, really odd because usually, Usually it happens in the corner of the eye, I feel like, but I was doing my nightly skincare routine. I was being very, very careful, and all of a sudden I looked down in the sink and it was there. So I'm gonna pop it back on and then hopefully let it was just a fluke, maybe whatever, but I'm going to see how the rest of them hold up. So just wanted to give you a quick update. Okay, so it is the next day. I just did the lashes yesterday and I came on here and I said that this little end was coming undone, um, which I thought was really weird because usually the inner corners are the ones that go first. So I was like, okay, chalked it up to, you know, maybe it was something on me. But woke up this morning and this one right here, let's see there, is starting to go. Um, these seem to be holding well, even the inner corner where I had to double sack it, which is, like I said, normally the place where I notice that it starts coming off um, almost right away, but this one seems to be holding up. This Lashify one is breaking down. Now, in full disclosure, I did go swimming last night. Um, we went in the pool. I did not go underwater. I kept my head above the water. There's a little bit of splashing. I got my face a little bit wet, but no more than I would say in a shower. So, um, and both of the eyes were equally as wet. So it can't be, I don't think it's necessarily the swimming because this eye was just as wet as this eye. Um, and when I say wet, it was maybe a couple splashes or whatever, but nothing crazy. Other than that, um, I've been doing normal activities because it's only been a day. Like I've only taken one shower. I don't even know if I've showered with them, went in the pool. So yeah, so I'm gonna fix this one. Um, I, yeah, at this point I've had two go on the side. I have nothing on this side. Now granted, you know, tomorrow this side could start going, but it, it hasn't even been 24 hours and I've already had to fix both of these or, you know, two on this eye. Um, so it just goes to show for me that brand name and cost does not determine the quality of the product. Okay, so I wanted to come on here real quick because I took my, the eyelashes off. So this was the Lashify one, this was the False Scare one. And one thing that I noticed was, so the La Lashify one definitely broke down much quicker than the False Scare, but even the False Scare, I got like two days out of False Scare, maybe three, no. I got three days out of the false scara before it started, like I started seeing gaps in my lashes. So one thing, it is not a good thing. I am not proud of it by any means, but I am like a picker. So last night when I was watching TV, I, you know, if I do it with my nails, I do it with my lashes sometimes, and you can see here, hence the reason why my lashes are so short and stubby is because I sometimes pull my lashes off, especially if I notice that they're kind of coming off. The Lashify one, I kid you not, I pulled them off without any issue, like bloop, like that. The False Scare ones held on a little bit more, but it still was, a, like I could notice a difference between how Lashify and False Scare came off compared to Lilac Street and Lynx lashes. So with Lilac Street and Lynx lashes, um, I noticed that when I do that, I literally am like, ee, and my eyelid is kind of pulling away and then I separate them. Again, not a good thing, would not recommend, it is the re number one reason why you're damaging your lashes if you're taking them off that way. Again, I have a problem, I'm admitting it. But I just noticed a difference on how easy it was to get my lashes off for Lashify and Falscara compared to Lilac Straight and Lynx. And that's what I wanted to come on and tell you. The second thing is, when I use Lilac Street or Lynx, and again, I've said this you know, before, I think those, I was diehard Lilac Street, tried Lynx. I like the Lynx formulation a little bit better, but as far as longevity, I get the same longevity from Lilac Street and Lynx. But one thing that I noticed when I wear Lilac Street or Lynx, I, when I take my lashes off, I still have glue in my regular lashes and I have to use like Lashify Release or Chow Lash Remover from Lilac Street in order to get the residue off. 
I got a little bit right here from Falscara. I literally have nothing in my lashes from Lashify. I washed my face last night. I used this microfiber wand, or microfiber wand, microfiber towel. Um, it took off all my residue with just a towel and water, whereas Lilac Street and Lynx Lashes, I actually have to do a remover. So you can see a little bit of the glue right there. Some of you may be listening and going, oh, that sounds amazing. Like it just comes off, that's great. That is why it didn't, it didn't hold up. That is why I didn't get the longevity. With Lilac Street and Lynx Lashes, I can get seven plus days. I like to do my lashes on like a Friday night, Saturday or whatever, sometimes Sunday, and I like to go to Friday night or Saturday night. Usually give my lashes one day to breathe, but I wanna have that longevity. I don't have time during the week to do my lashes. That's why I do them on the weekend. And I want something that gets me from point A to point B without me having to touch it up. And Lilac Street and Lynx are the ones that I found can do that. Um, Falscara, Lashify, no. Now, are they great to use maybe for an outdoor, like if you're just going to an event and you just wanna do your lashes for one night, I'd probably recommend them. Um, probably not Lashify because it is more expensive, but if you're looking for like a one day wear, definitely get Falscara. It's affordable, it's in the stores or whatever, and it's not going to leave that much residue on your lashes, so you don't have to sit there and have a remover. I still will use a remover to do these just because if I try to do them, just water or pull them out, obviously I'm gonna damage my own lashes, which they're already damaged enough. Anyways, just wanted to say that, wanted to come on and show you guys or tell you that little tidbit um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not brand specific. I'm looking for the most, the best quality, the most affordable and the easiest of use. And those are the three things, the, 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 the three things that I'm looking for. Anyways, just want to give you that tidbit. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.